Trump picked the vice presidential candidate for his ticket just now officially JD fans. So let's do a little recap of the situation. First with Trump himself having to pick a new VP. Let's all just remember why he has to do that. I mean, forgetting the fact just for a second that it is because he was trying to get his VP to overthrow our government. Uh, the fact alone that he has to pick a new VP is bonkers. Like it just shows that you cannot lead to have attrition, not just to the high amounts that he did, but at the highest levels to the fact that you can't keep a VP. Like that is just so, such poor leadership. Then of course you have the fact that it's because Mike Pence was not willing to basically overthrow our government for Trump. So obviously with his new VP pick, my, uh, not Mike Pence, uh, JD Vance, he has said, oh yeah, I would have done it differently than than Pence, which means he would have overthrown our government and said F you to the voters. Dictatorship status. Then J.D. Vance himself is just like such a loser that just flip-flops to try to go for, you know, feeding his hunger for power because earlier, like 2016-ish and so on, J.D. Vance was critiquing Trump uh, and he, he he was basically, these, I'm paraphrasing, but he was saying something along the lines of, I can't really decide if he's this narcissistic buffoon that is so awful but can't really do much because he's so much of an idiot or if he is those things but somehow manages to be more like Adolf. Like that kind of critique uh, then on to kissing his ass any chance he gets, fundraising a lot for him. And the fundraising, by the way, is such a good picture into J.D. Vance because this is a man that is part of the elite, the very elite that Republicans try to trick the American public into thinking they're not for, oh, they're for the working class. Meanwhile, J.D. Vance is like this with Silicon Valley multi-billionaires. Uh, Peter Thiel, who was the CEO of PayPal, has huge stock in Facebook, billions of dollars, uh, gave $10 million to J.D. Vance's Senate campaign. And J.D. Vance has fundraised a lot through his Silicon Valley ultra-billionaire network for Trump. That is not a man that is there for the people. Those are both, both Trump and Vance are men for the ultra wealthy men, not for us.